Hi, this is Anna Pitney from Bergeon. Welcome. This is the third of the um, Facebook Live's series of goal setting. Uh, today, we finally put everything together. So if you've watched the other two Facebook Lives on goal setting, we uh, first released all our resistance, our resistance to our man making our manifestations happen. So if you've been um, writing user resolutions and wanting to manifest uh things in your life and they still haven't shown up, there was some resistance that needed to be cleared. So that's what we did in the first uh, Facebook Live as part of the series. In the second one, we started to uh, really uh, start to do some really deep energy clearing to release the, the blocks uh, and stories we tell ourselves about what's holding us back and start to get clarity to create goals with soul. And so today I've got a very special tool um, that is exclusive to uh, Bergeon and uh, my coaching business, Anna Kitney, coaching and mentoring. So I've posted the link in the chat for you. So I uh, click on that link. Um, enter your email and you can get instant access to that toolkit so you can have that in front of you while we're working through this um, exercise tonight together. Okay, so it's quite a comprehensive, so you may not get everything completed tonight, so don't worry. Um, you have plenty of time to do that over the coming days as we uh, start to prepare for our decade. So, you know, this is a very powerful time. You know, we enter into 2020 and it's really more than just thinking about what you're going to create for the coming year, but really for the long-term future. This is where, you know, I, you know, I, I I call upon people who are looking to create a mission, a vision, a purpose, and a legacy, a life legacy. So it's really like game on now, guys. Game on. No more messing about. This Facebook Live is for people who are action takers, who are who are self-motivated, and who really want to make something of themselves on this planet, and really want to be of greatest service to humanity. This is this is who this is for. Uh, this is an opportunity to you know start to create the things you want in your life that are in alignment with what's called your divine timing, your divine timing. Um, so what is your divine timing? Your divine timing is the promises you made before incarnation. So as a soul, when you chose to come here on earth, you made some promises. Promises, for example, to give to birth to children. So part of my divine timings was to give birth to my son and daughter. I agree that I'll bring those souls um, onto the planet. That was one of my divine timings. Another one of my divine timings was to become a failing instructor and to teach thousands of students across the world. So uh, I've been responsible for, you know, uh, awakening, you know, thousands of people around the world um, through Theta Healing as a, as a technique for personal development and spiritual growth. That was another one of my divine timings. And so divine timings are, um, uh, are really, you know, key milestones in your life that uh, are really impacting the lives of other people around the world. And so here's what I've discovered uh, as a student of personal, personal development for the last 25 years is that I get everything I want by helping other people get what they want. Let me repeat that. I get everything I want by helping other people get what they want. And so when you, it's not about being, um, like sacrificial, it's about being selfless. When you stop thinking about yourself and start thinking about others, you actually get all the things that you desire. They start to come along anyway. So when you are manifesting in alignment with your divine time, it's far more powerful. So in the previous Facebook Live, we took you through a guided meditation to manifest. So um, after this call is over and you've completed your little toolkit that we're going to go through today, uh, then uh, I, you can always go back to that uh, Facebook Live and listen to the guided meditation to manifest your life. Okay, so welcome. Welcome. So we've got Vidya, Victoria, uh, Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Um, Dubrovka, Leanne, Zita, welcome. Um, Ellie, Dion. Hi, Dion. Hilda, Laura. Hi, Laura. Uh, Francesca, Ellie, Jasna, Atma. Hi, Atma. Um, Anja, Amna, Amna, Amna. I'm not hoping I pronounced that correctly. Samar, um, uh, Janet. Hi, Janet saying she's looking forward to coming this Saturday. So, yeah, this Saturday we've got our live Manifesting Love and Abundance workshop. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll post details of that later. Um, Darla, Joanna. Hi, Joanna. Mathilda. Nafisha, Hilda, Francesca, welcome, welcome. Okay, guys, so like I said, I posted the link into the description of this Facebook Live, so you can click on that. Uh, you enter uh, your email address and you'll be given instant access to the uh, decade planner. So this is what it looks like. 
Okay, so it has the Anna Kitney brand and not the Bergeon branding. So this is my, Anna Kitney is my fourth company <laughs> I've set up. Um, so this is my coaching and mentoring brand because we're going into a little bit more coaching and mentoring. So um, download this and you can have it on your, uh, on your desktop. Okay, so, right, so if you haven't had a chance to download it or you haven't got a printer, that's okay, don't panic, you can always get to it later. But have a pen and paper to hand, pen and paper to hand, and you can start jotting some of these down. Okay, so just let me know you guys are ready. I'm very excited about tonight's um, Facebook Live. Okay. Hi, Donatella. Christina, welcome. Margaret, welcome. Vanya, hi. Okay, so we've got some new people. Welcome. Okay. All right. Okay, so the first part is what's, what's called your core values, your core values. So when we're looking to describe or starting to plan out our decade, we really want to get clear on what's really important to us, how we want to live our life, how we want to feel. So before you write down, I want the house, I want the baby, I want the healing business, I want 10 clients a week. Before we even get to any of that, you really need to connect with kind of like your core values uh, that you that you are you wish to live by and that are crucially important to you. And so um, in your uh, decade plan, you've got the different categories of life. So you've got um, health and wellness, business career, finances, love, family and friends, learning, personal development and spirit, experiences and hobbies, mission and legacy. So those are some categories. And so, as I said, if you haven't got a printer, don't worry, you can just start jotting these down. So in the area of health and wellness, what are some of your core values, your core values? So is it rejuvenation? Is it vitality? Is it strength? Is it power? So just tune in and just feel what is like your core value for the area of health and wellness, health and wellness, okay? Do you want to feel empowered? Do you want to feel limitless? Um, do you want to feel energized? Okay. So just write down some core values in the area of health and wellness. Okay, great. Next. Okay, business and career. Okay. What would be your core values in the area of business and career? Okay, so do you want to feel abundant, accepting, authentic, boundless, dynamic, committed, passionate, fulfilled, inspired, Joyful, whole, strong. Okay, let's move on. Next, in the area of finances. Okay, what is your core value in the area of finances? Is it stability? Is it security? Is it safety? Is it honesty? Is it excitement? Is it passion? Do you want to be passionate about your finances instead of burying your head in the sand? Do you want to feel comfortable, focused, lucky, fortunate, liberated? Grounded. Appreciative. How do you want to feel? What are your values in the area of finances? Okay, moving on into the area of love. Love and romantic relationships. So what is your core values there? Is it commitment? Honesty? Passion? Joyful, nourished, whole, 
powerful, playful, sensual, vulnerable, sacred, secure. How do you want to feel? What is your values in the area of love and romantic relationships? Okay, next. Okay, family and friends. Family and friends. So what are your core values in the category of family and friends? Is it stability, belonging, fulfilled, generous, nurtured, supported, Okay, next category, in the category of learning, personal development, and spiritual growth. What are your sort of, some of your core values in that category? So you might find some of your core values repeat through different categories. And that, what that tells me is that is an important value to you that is um, part of your unique makeup. Uh, and that's why it shows up in a lot of categories for you. Okay, let's move on to um, experiences and hobbies. Okay, so what are some of your values in the area of experiences and hobbies? So do you want to feel um, enlightened, educated, fun, joyful, adventurous, spirited, exuberant, opulent, creative, and then next, mission and legacy. Mission and legacy, when it comes to your core values, so when you think about, you know, 10 years down the line, you know, you look over your decade, you know, sitting at, at you know, um, 2030, <laughs> looking back over that decade, thinking about your mission and your legacy and what you accomplished in those 10 years. What are some of the values and, and yeah, the core values and, and, and feelings you want to feel at the end of that? Is it accomplished? Is it stable? Is it fulfilled? Is it content? enthusiastic, blessed, centered, genuine, happy, harmonious, thankful, useful, wholesome, satisfied, powerful, connected okay guys so I'm really curious um, yes Alison yes freedom absolutely is, is a value absolutely definitely okay so let me know in the chat what is uh, the core value that you you saw came up for you in multiple categories in multiple categories what was the value that came up for you jot, jot that down in the chat let me know let me know. Okay, so for those of you who've just joined, um, I've posted a link into the uh, description of this Facebook Live where you can download your decade planner. This is the, the toolkit. So you can click on the link, um, enter your uh, email, and you get instant access to this, this, to this uh, toolkit. And we started on defining our core values in all of our life categories. Okay, so I want you to put it in the chat. What is your most important core value? So video saying abundant, Pearl saying respect. Okay, Nicole saying freedom. Okay, Barbara saying safe. 
Okay, what else? I'd love to know, guys. What is some a core cool value that came up for you numerous times? Okay, Alison is free, saying freedom. Okay, all right, let's move on. Let's move on. So if you've got like a value that, that was repeated, I want you to circle that value. Circle that value, okay? Um, and that value... Um, may become the word of the year for you. So for this next 12 months, that's going to become your word. That's going to become your word. So what you can do on, on your phones is, this is something that I, I have on my alarms in my notifications. So I go to my settings. In my, where's my alarms? In my alarms. Where are you? There we are. In my alarms, I have um, a setting and uh, it has my, um, my words. So I've actually got three words. So my three words are grace, Humility and vulnerability, those are my three words for this for this decade. So it goes off. So at 8.08 in the morning, it goes off, and those are my words. So I affirm those words. I'm reminded of my words for the year, grace, humility, and vulnerability. So this is something that I encourage you to do, is do pop it into your phone. So it goes off an alarm, and that's going to be the word or words that drive you for this entire year, entire year. So this is where you're not going to get distracted, go off track, or get confused when you go back to your core, core values that you are focusing on, and particularly for this year that are going to be your guiding um, guiding guiding word for the year okay so let's have a look Dion saying belonging I love it uh, inspired motivated joyful happy fulfilled passionate peaceful safe nourished so freedom came up a lot for many of you freedom okay nourished okay good all right, let's move on. So next is our, our our greatness blueprint. So we begin now with our 10 year goals, our 10 year goals. Okay, so you're gonna write down the major goals you wish to accomplish in the next 10 years in each of these categories. So you're gonna start this process now, but obviously this can take some time for you to, to complete uh, over the coming week. I reckon it'll probably take a good week or so to really sit down, reflect. So. Um, I'm going to instruct you on the whole document uh, this evening, and then obviously it will be saved to the to the Facebook page. So you can rewatch it um, anytime. But you can sit down with you know a nice cup of herbal tea, you know maybe on a weekend. We can really sit down, reflect, take some time to to meditate, to really be thoughtful uh, in regards to the goals you're putting down because we're making decisions for our next ten years. So you're going to be writing down your major goals you wish to accomplish in the next 10 years in each of these categories. So in the area of health, business, career, money, love, home environment, spirit, family, friends, learning, experiences, mission, and so forth. So you're going to start to jot down those big goals for the next 10 years. Okay, so I just want you guys just to close your eyes for me. Close your eyes. And I just want you to take a nice deep breath and just relax. And you can put your hand on your heart. Just becoming aware of the beating of your heart. Bring all your focus into your heart space. This is where all your intuitive guidance comes from. And when we go into stillness, into silence, we can start to listen to this, this wisdom, this internal guidance, this little, little voice inside us. like a little Buddha inside our heart, always speaking to us words of kindness, encouragement, and love. And so if you're speaking from your heart of hearts, what are your dreams, goals, and visions for the next 10 years? So imagine you're standing in 2030, the year 2030, Looking back over your life, what do you wish you had accomplished, created, gave birth to? Okay, so in the area of your health, did you lose weight? Did you become more toned? Did you create more endurance? Did you heal an illness or disease? Do you feel younger than before? Are you rejuvenated? Are you full of vitality? Okay, in the area of love, 
So if you're in an existing relationship, what does that relationship look like when it's at its very best? That's in line with those core values. So if you're in an existing relationship, see the best version of that relationship. And if you're wanting a soulmate, see the best soulmate possible for you, the most compatible soulmate for you. And what does your life look like together? What are the things that you are doing together? Okay, home environment, where are you living? So you, have you moved cities or countries? Have you moved from an apartment to your, to your own detached home? Do you have two homes? Okay, in the area of personal development and growth, are there courses that you've completed? mentors that you studied with and see and feel the impact they had on your life as a result of investing in yourself how did that impact the, the, the decade good Okay, in the area of uh, friends and family, what do you see you've accomplished in this decade? I just want you to set aside any fears, any doubts, just set them aside. Allow those thoughts just to wash over you and let them pass and then refocus on the best case scenario, your ideal, your dream, your vision. Let go of any resistance or doubts or fears right now. Just set those aside for now. Let go of all the how, how it's all going to happen. And just connect with the vision. Okay, in the area of business and career, life purpose, what have you achieved in these these twenty in these in these ten years? Okay, I'm going to ask that the divine energy, your angels, and your spirit guides guide you to remember, to remember all that you will accomplish, all that you will create, all that you will manifest. To connect you with your soul aligned goals. Okay, good, nice deep breath. And slowly open your eyes for me. Okay, good. So, guys, I, I'd love to know right down in the chat what did you see? What did you see as your 10 year goals? Okay, I want you to jot them down in your notes. Okay. In your greatness blueprint, you're going to jot those those big goals down. They may seem ambitious, they may seem unrealistic, or that you're making stuff up. Just let go of any story you're telling yourself about, um, you know, how whether it's impossible or not possible. Just set that story aside and really focus on your heart's desires. What's in your heart of hearts? Write that down in your notes, okay? And then let me know in the chat. I'd love to know what some of your ten year goals are. Okay, what are your 10 year goals? Okay, if you feel happy to share, if you feel happy to share, yeah. So, um, so one of my um 10 year goals in regards to my family is to put both my kids through private school and to start saving money for university. My son wants to be a chemical engineer, so he's 13 now, so we're starting to research universities. Um, so we're looking at, you know, the requirements that are required. So we're really, really, really thinking like 10 years in the future, um, what university he could possibly go to um, and the, 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 you know, the, the 
classes and grades he would need in order to, to get into chemical engineering. Um, my daughter's quite artistic. She's still young. She's only nine years old. My feeling is like fashion design or interior design, something creative. So um, again, we're looking at you know you know um, colleges and universities for her, even though she's um, only eight years old. Um, so my ten-year goal is to put them both through private school and to start saving for their university education as well. So that's one of my ten-year goals for my um, for my for my family. Um, so Jasmine's saying, wedding with my love. Beautiful. Thank you for that. Thank you. Um, Hera's saying, living in a spiritual community with my divine life partner, running retreats near the beach, giving talks around the world and a book. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. It's totally doable, Hera. Totally. Totally doable. Um, and my feeling is that you could do it in less than 10 years. That's my feeling. That's my feeling. Okay. All right, so let's let's move on. Let's move on. So now we're going to break this down into five-year goals. Five-year goals. Okay, so we've got our big goals for the different life areas. Okay, so then we start to break it down in five goals. So write down the major goals you wish to accomplish in the next five years in each of these categories that is in alignment with your core values. Where do you wish to be in five years? In five years. Most people... Um, uh, overestimate how much they can accomplish in a, in a year and completely underestimate how much they can accomplish in five and ten years. Uh, a lot can be achieved in five years. So we're going to start to break this down now. So thinking about your big, big ten-year goals, what do you feel you, you can accomplish in five years, in five years, in five years? So for example, Hera's saying she wants to run retreats near the beach. Okay, so the five-year five year goal, for example, could be... Um, uh, you know, building a community of people where you're running retreat, maybe you're running a retreat uh, in your country until at such point you're ready to run a retreat maybe um, overseas. Or it may be starting to build a team. So a five-year goal may be to build a team to help you, support you so that you can run retreats. So, you know, like an event planner, a coordinator, a salesperson, um, you talked about, you know, having a book as well. So, you know, I know someone that can, you know, um, support you in promoting that book. So you're looking at perhaps PR. So some of those goals might be in the five-year category. You're starting to build out a team so you can run retreats yourself, right? So it's like really starting to flesh out, you know, you've got your 10-year goals. Then out of that, what can be achieved in five years, in five years? Um, so Alison is writing a book. Okay, Eleanor saying divine partner and creating family, houses, apartments in different countries. Beautiful. Success schools. I love that. Success schools. Um, and surprisingly, my soul is very happy about doing retreats. That's awesome. Yeah, re yeah. retreats are great. One of our instructors, Vanya Silverton, um, she runs uh, uh, the Goddess Retreat uh, once a year in, um, in Spain. She ran her first one um, this year, in fact, and it was a great success. It sold out very, very quickly. Um, and so it's a beautiful office to be in Spain by the beach. Um, there's something quite profound about an immersive experience as a retreat. So um, as we come further through the document, some of the action steps may be, you know, learning how to do a retreat. And there are like online courses that teach you how to do retreats. Um, so um, Andrew's saying publishing three books. Barbara's saying teach theta healing and raise spiritual awareness. <laughs> Hilda's saying sport, sport, sport. <laughs> what kind of sport, Hilda? What kind of sport? Maureen is saying, um, see myself teaching all over the world, speaking at public events, having a team of 15 pe people, two kids and two houses. Yeah, totally doable, totally. I'm mean, having a team of 15 people. They may not all necessarily all be employees. They may be outsourcing. So, for example, you know, I outsource my videographer. I outsource um, my um, my online marketing with my um, my funnels and my um, Infusionsoft um, CRM database, I outsource all of that. So I don't, have, I don't have employees that run that, I outsource. So I don't. I use them as and when I need on retainer. So there's ways that you can have a team without thinking you have to have people on salary. Yeah. Um, just seen inspiring women through my books and online work. Beautiful. Very clear there. Um, Ellie saying, my daughter gets married. I've got grandchildren. I have a big house and I see her and family often. Good. <laughs> well, I hope your, your, your daughter wants, wants kids. <laughs> Liz Mira saying, teaching better healing in Venezuela. Yeah, I see that, Liz Mira. I see that, actually. I see that. Um, okay. Uh, Dubrovka, soulmate, three children, failing instructor, PhD in law. 
uh, Vitality, and my dearest friend and I live in the same city. Awesome, awesome. Okay, Justina, write a book, open an online coaching business, and become a vegetarian. Okay, very clear, very clear. Okay, um, Avalon's saying, I see me on stage after giving a talk to an audience, and I'm standing with my primary soulmate and child. Good, 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 good. Okay, so what do I mean by spirit? Spirit, I mean personal development, spiritual growth. Okay, so for example, um, it took me, it took me about six years to complete my Theta Healing Certificate of Science, which is the highest qualification for healing. Um, I didn't do all the classes back to back. I did basic, advanced, um, and um, manifesting abundance, and then I went and taught those classes. Once I gained confidence and I took those classes and I started generating revenue from teaching those classes, I used that money to invest to then do more courses, which including Children of Anatomy, which is a 15-day class. Uh, and that was uh, in Croatia. And at that time, I had given birth to my daughter. We were breastfeeding. She, we were coming up to two years and three months. And that's when we stopped breastfeeding and I was able to go and do my Children of Anatomy training. So it was three weeks away from my family. So then I flew back, taught in Children of Anatomy, made money teaching children anatomy it became like got adjusted to the energy and frequency of teaching that particular class and then further down the track i did more classes so it took me seven it took me yeah, six to seven years to achieve my certificate of science uh, and that's the way i did it It was a gradual process for me so if you're wanting to get the highest qualification in a particular energy and modality or get a, a law degree that may be a five year six year plan Okay, that's going to require some planning rather than manifesting and dreaming it and not taking any action because you're thinking, well, it's going to take too long, so you don't do anything. And then if you don't do anything now, nothing's going to change in one year, five years, or ten years. So we're starting to work backwards. So when we talk about spirit, we're talking about personal development, spiritual growth, spiritual growth. For some people, they would like to take a six-month sabbatical, right? Go to India, visit an ashram, and you know, and meditate and do you know a silent meditation. Um, or, you know, go actually serve it at an ashram and, you know, scrub floors and cook for the, you know, the poor and the needy. That may be a spiritual goal for you, okay? Um, those are some examples. Okay. Okay, good. So, Joelle is saying, motivational speaker in the Middle East, married, have two or three children, feeling fulfilled, joyful, healthy, lots of energy and wisdom to share and have a house in the middle of nature. Beautiful. Absolutely. Well, that was actually one of my goals, um, Joelle, to, to get out of London and move into the country. So I live in Surrey uh, in a lovely little village. Uh, I'm surrounded by green. I'm surrounded by green. Um, uh, my house is a hedge at the front and a hedge down the side. There's foxes that roam the garden. Um, it's really lovely. And that was, that was a goal that I had for quite a while, is to, to get out of London and move to the country. Um, but still have a good commute to London. But it required planning. It required planning. Okay, so let's let's move on, guys. Let's move on. Next, next is the one year goal. The one year goal. So now we're starting to break it down, guys. So we've had our ten year goals, then we had our, our five year, and now we break it down to one year goal. So writing down the major goals you wish to accomplish in the next twelve months in each of these categories. So um, you could choose like one major goal in each of the categories. So for example, health. Your one major goal for one one year, for example, could be to lose, you know, 10 kilos. That could be the goal or five kilos, for example. It could be, it could be um, to, um, you know, to, you know, go vegetarian. That could be a goal for the year to transition from um, uh, omnivore to becoming vegetarian or even going from vegetarian to vegan, if that's your wish, right? So it's going to require, you know, some action steps, right? Like learning how to cook vegan. Um, for example, in the goal of money, it could be to save, say, 5,000 or 10,000 or 50,000, right? So that could be a, a, like a money goal for you. Um, a, love, a love goal could be to manifest your soulmate. Manifest your soulmate, your most compatible or your, div, your div, most divine soulmate. Home environment. Home environment, your one-year goal could be to improve your existing environments. If, you, if you're currently in a, in a home that you own, it may be to build an extension to add value to the house. Or if you're currently living in a like a one bedroom or studio flat, it may be the one year goal is to move into a two bedroom apartment. Okay, so going from a one you know a studio to a four bedroom house may be too much of a stretch, right? I'm not saying it's not possible, but it may be too much of a stretch. So for better healers, 
um, who are watching this, obviously we will do, you know, you will do belief work on yourself, do some healing to clear any blocks that you have to manifesting that. But a one-year goal, quite feasible and quite realistic, could be from going from a studio uh, flat to maybe a one-bedroom, two-bedroom flat, for example. If you're sharing accommodation with others, it may be to have your own accommodation, and that's totally doable in a year. Okay, so just write down your your one-year goal. What is like some of the things you wish to accomplish in this next. 12 months, 12 months in each of those life areas. It's an area of health, career, money, love, home environment, spirit or sp spiritual development, family, friends, learning experiences and mission. So you're, you're going to jot those down. Okay. Yeah, Eleanor's asked a really good question actually. How to be more calm about my goals if they need more time than I expect? So many, many years ago when I studied with Bob Proctor, he said, never change the goal, but you can move the deadline. Never change the goal, but move the deadline. Sometimes things take longer than they expect, and I'm, I'm really guilty of that. I always underestimate how long things take. Um, I think I remember a time where you just could just teleport from A to B and here on this earth you actually have to get into a car or to, a, or to a train to get from A to B. So sometimes I underestimate how long things take um, or sometimes I'm working not just on, um, I'm not just working on my timeline but I'm waiting on other people and other people have their own timeline. So sometimes people aren't working as fast as I work so I'm waiting on other people or Alternative people are waiting on me as well. So sometimes we, you know, we delay and procrastinate. Um, so it's okay that things get delayed, but never change the goal. So if you are, if you're, um, for example, if you have a goal and you're like, I've got my goal, but I've changed my mind. I don't want this anymore. I've changed my mind and this is what I want instead. That's okay, right? But if you keep changing your goals over and over again, it's like you're never going to reach your destination. So it's about really having that, you know, really thoughtful time to really meditate and journal to say, what do I really want? So when we connect, when we, when, when we were um, talking about our core values at the beginning of this Facebook Live, start with that first. How do you want to feel? What are your values that are important to you? So that all your goals and your action steps always sit underneath your, underneath your values. Very, very important. Because sometimes we create goals because we impress our friends or we want to impress our parents or that we made a promise to somebody because they asked us but it's not really our goal. It's it's something we got roped into instead of what we wanted. Okay. Sometimes we get can get pulled along on other people's agenda. Okay. So we we talked about that in our previous Facebook Live uh, as part of the series where we started to clear the the vows and oaths we made to other people about who they think we are and what we they think we should do. Right. So this is why it's very very important that you start with that those those core values first. And then all your goals and um, your, your goals for your life sit underneath that so that you're making choices for yourself and for the right reasons, not because it would look good on Instagram or it would impress your, your university friends or, um, or that it would feed the ego. Okay, so this is where we're, we're, we're connecting with heart-centered goals that you want it because it will make you fulfilled or you want it because it will make you feel free or joyful or enlightened or empowered. Okay, um, so, you know, I haven't accomplished all my goals. You know, every year I, I, I review my goals. Everything doesn't always get ticked off, but eventually it does. If I miss the goal in one year, it usually happens by my second or third year. Okay, so if I haven't achieved something in two years, I'm like, what's going on here? Then I know I need to do work on myself and say, okay, what belief systems am I running? Where is my resistance that I haven't accomplished this goal yet? How is it serving me to stay stuck? Okay, so we talked about that in our previous Facebook Live. Um, what's the kickback from staying stuck? From staying stuck. Okay. Hi, Risha. Oh my God. Hi. Risha's an, uh, a very old friend of mine from Australia. Um, well, friends of me, my husband actually. Wow. Mm, lots of love. Lots of love. Okay, so let's let's move on, guys. Right. So now. Now we're going to get down to like juicy and practical. So next, next one is your your top three goals in the next three months. So can you see how we're going big picture, getting smaller and smaller and smaller to now our, our top three goals for the next three months. So I say to my students in class, how do you eat an elephant? 
one bite at a time, one bite at a time. So instead of going into overwhelm thinking, well, you know, I want three houses and two children and an international business, it's, it's wonderful have to have that 10 year goal. But in order to make that a reality, instead of a pipe dream, we start to break it down to bite-sized chunks, okay? So now we get into how we make it practical and tangible. So you start to write down your top three goals for three months. So I have completely ditched the to-do list. The to-do list created so much chaos in my life, so much stress. It's probably the worst personal development tool ever. Um, do not do a to-do list. Do not buy those little post-it notes with like the 20 to-do lists because it's the most inefficient, least productive way to move forward in your goals, okay? It's, it's basically chaos on paper. I always feel guilty because I could never complete my to-do list. The stuff would keep rolling over to the next day and I would feel guilty because I had these 20 things that I didn't get to accomplish and it just made me feel like a failure over and over again and I was in overwhelm and there was no strategy behind the to-do list. It was like what was urgent based on other people's demands of me, right? It's not, not very productive or enlightened. So when I started to get in clear on what my core values are, what is my 10 year vision and breaking it down to right down to three months, um, I got very clear that, you know what, it's just, you know, next three months, it's just three things. I'm just going to do these, just these three things, these three months, because what would happen is if I gave myself 20 things to do, they would, I would have the, all these unfinished projects, unfinished projects. Okay, so this is where it becomes practical, it becomes realistic, it becomes doable. And all of a sudden, like, okay, just three things this, this, these next three months, just three things I've got to get done, three big projects, okay? So you're gonna write down for the, for the next three months, what are the, the out of all the, the goals you have for the year, what are the things you'd like to get started on? So there may be a goal you have for your health, it may be a goal that you have for, for example, career and business, and there could be a goal that you have for, say, home environment or it could be for learning, maybe you have a goal. Um, I know some of you are wanting to um, complete some of your failing studies and, and do some of the mastery classes. Okay, that may be one of your goals for the next three months, okay? To save up money for that, you know, to enroll, to book out your, your holidays for that, but that just write down your three, just three, just three goals that you wish to accomplish in the next three months. Okay, so then now, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to jump straight to page 10, which is the, this is a tool that's actually taken from Brenda Bouchard's um, High Performance Institute Certified, certified High Performance Program. Um, this is a really powerful tool, very simple, uh, but it's a, it's a daily planner. It's a daily planner, okay? So here's how it works. I love this tool. I love this tool. So scrap your to-do list and use this instead. This is something you can print out as many times as you want. Okay, and here's how it works. So in, at the top, you're gonna to write down your project. So say, for example, your project is for the next three months, okay, for, say, for example, it's to you know, launch and start your healing business, for example, yeah? Or it could be to lose um, two kilos, okay? Two kilos in the next, you know, in the next, um, in the next 12 weeks. You're gonna jot that down, yeah? That's the project. Or the project, for example, could be to, um, you know, uh, organize, you know, um, you know, after school activities for your kids. So maybe you want to get your kids into karate or piano lessons or singing lessons or horse riding. Um, you know, there's always after school clubs. So maybe that might be a project. Another project might be, for example, um, you know, if you already have a business of some kind, you know, what's a project you're working on? So for, for me right now, in my business, one of the things we're working on is we've um, cleaned up our database our, in Infusionsoft, and now we're focusing on um, all our funnels, so all our email sequences. So I've got to write copy, I've got to get a copywriter, I've got to put all the sequences for all our opt-ins. So one of the projects is, is my, my funnel sequence. That's what, that's what we're working on in our business in this, in this um, 12 weeks. Okay, so you've got your just three, just three, right? Okay, so for you, a project maybe build a website. Okay, that may be the project that you write down, build a website. Okay, right, so then we write down the five big things I must do to move this project forward. So now we get into practical, tangible steps that you can do um, that are gonna help you move towards that goal. So say, for example, your project is to build a website. One could be find a web developer. Find a web developer, okay? So if you're looking for a web developer, you can look on peopleperhour.com, per um, upwork.com, um, and Elance. Those are some places you can go to find a web developer and web designer. Um, another step may be, you know, choose a domain name. 
yeah, um, for your for your website. Another step may be um, write the about me copy, like about me or bio, for example. Um, step four may be to um, organize a photo shoot. So you've got a nice professional headshot for your website. Okay, so organize a photo shoot. Um, number five, for example, might be to set up your online booking calendar. So when people want to book appointments with you, the easiest way is they can book online instead of sending you an email, then they phone you, you miss the phone call, you phone them back, you're checking their calendar, they check it's too much toing and froing. So if you have an online booking system where your online booking system can collect the money for you in advance, it simplifies the process. So maybe, you know, registering with acuity scheduling or Candly, there's a lot of online booking systems. So those might be action steps. Okay, so you've got practical action steps that you're putting into your into your project for that category, for that category. And you do the same thing for all the others. Okay, so for example, an action step would not be build a website because build a website is, it's such a, it's a project in itself rather than action step, okay? An action step would be register a domain name, right? An action step might be, get if you're planning to sell online, um, an SSL certificate, which makes sure that your transactions are secure unless you're using PayPal. An action step might be set up a Stripe account so you can collect money via Stripe, right? That would be a practical, tangible action step that you could do in 10 minutes, okay? This is how this works. Next, next is people people so the first one is people I need to reach out to today so um, list the people you have to reach out today no matter what so in regards to all your projects what are the people you have to reach out to because sometimes you're on someone else's agenda so for example you know if you are going to build a website you might reach out to say three people on peopleperhour.com and say this is my project this is what i required i'm looking for a bid i'm looking for somebody to quote on the project this is what i need i need a five page website um you know this i'm looking for this kind of design can you give me a quote and so you're going to be waiting on three people to get three quotes on um portfolio of their work so you can review their work maybe some of their client testimonials okay and their price what price they're going to give you that's going to be reasonable that is you know reasonable and feasible for you so you're going to be this is where you are reaching out and following up with people so this goes on your list so you never forget what agenda you're on you must remember that oh i must follow up with the three people i've got a quote on this might be three builders that you get to quote because you're going to be building an extension right on your on your home for example or it may be that you've reached out to three gymnastic schools for your daughter right you're going to be following up with that so you're waiting on people to get back to you hopefully that makes sense give me a yes that you're still paying attention and that you understand this this concept just give me a yes that would be great that would be great okay so next um, so people I need to reach out to and people I'm waiting on, people I'm waiting on. So you're listing the people you need something from in order to move forward. So sometimes, for example, like um, I'm waiting for my um, funnel agency to send me my um, Facebook ads draft. So we're going to be creating some Facebook ads. I'm waiting on them to send me the artwork. So I've given them the copy, I've given them the images, I'm waiting on them to come back to me with the graphics for the ads. So I'll write that down, follow up, because I'm waiting on them to give me those graphics, right? So then I never lose track of what I'm doing in my business because I've got it in my planner, okay? Um, maybe, you're, maybe you're waiting on, you know, the builders to come back to you with a, with a quote. Maybe you're waiting for an email uh, in regards to, you know, a query that you've asked for, okay? So people you need to reach out to and chase, okay? And people you're waiting on. Okay, finally, priorities, priorities. The main things I must complete today no matter what, no matter what. List the priorities and to-dos um, that you must accomplish today, right, before you get trapped by people, other people's agenda, okay? So, you know, um, in the old days, I would wake up in the, in the morning, I would turn on my phone, and I'll see all my notifications and I get lost in Facebook and Instagram. Then I'll get to my desk and I'll check my email. And then like, it'll be two o'clock and I'm like, what have I done today? I've been answering emails, I've been answering people's stuff, I've been on other people's agenda. I may have ticked a few things off my list and I didn't, I didn't achieve as much as I could achieve. So now I don't check my phone in the morning, I'm not checking Instagram, I'm not checking Facebook. 
Okay, I've got all my I've got my posts um, pre-scheduled using a uh, later. So occasionally I will go onto Instagram if I have to put a manual post up, but generally they're automated. Um, but I will not be checking emails first thing. The first thing is what's the most important thing I have to do to this morning? Okay, so this morning I had to the first thing that I had to make a phone call to follow up with um, a producer who wants to interview me um, uh, for a, 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 a production that she's putting together, and then the next thing I had to do was my three-hour training call with one of my clients um, for her half a VIP day. The, I had to be prepared for that. Okay, so I knew that had to be done before anything else. Before anything else, so I never lose track of what I'm doing in my day. Okay, so and then you check emails and texts because it's other people's um, uh, pull on you. That comes second. That comes second. So the main thing you must complete a day no matter what. So then, can you see how easy it becomes that you've got like one thing that you achieve today, one major thing that's going to propel you forward. So if that's setting up your Stripe account so you can collect money um, in your business, fantastic. If that's getting you know your three quotes back on um, on a, an extension or you know quotes on a website build, fantastic. You know, you've ticked it off. That's a major accomplishment. And then you're going to feel like you're making progress, guys. Give me, give me progress. Okay. So, awesome. There's like a delay in Facebook because I'm getting yeses now. Good. Good. I'm glad you love this, guys. So, as I said, in the link um, in, this, in, this, uh, in this Facebook Live, you can click on that um, and you can um, enter your email and you can get access to this planner straight away. Straight away. You can uh, download it. And um, you can start to complete it. As I said to you at the beginning, this may take some time to complete. Um, so take some time out, you know, like I said, you know, when you're not just, you know, switch your phone off, you know, sit on the sofa with a nice cup of tea or, you know, it could be early in the morning when everyone's still asleep and energetically, like it's all nice and quiet and you've got time to think. And you can really start to plan out the vision for your 10 years, your five years, your one year, breaking it down into, into um into, into 12 in your 12 week goals and then finally like on a daily basis on a daily basis this is going to keep you accountable this is going to keep you accountable so this is how we work backwards okay we reverse engineer our, our decade we reverse engineer our decade the big vision we wish to create and then breaking it down to smaller smaller bite-sized chunks so that each day you're making progress towards your 10-year goal Okay, rather than getting distracted by what somebody else is doing because you're seeing something on social media or you've you know you've, you've signed up for something, you got roped into someone else's you know a plan or agenda. Getting really clear on your, your core values, how you wish to live your life, and choosing goals for yourself that are in alignment with those core values, and you will truly live a miraculous life miraculous life so thank you so much guys if you are a student at Bergeon, um, the Facebook live is going to continue in the Bergeon inner circle and um, there's gonna be additional training in there along with you know the bonus Q&A in there as well so uh, if, uh, we're, we're gonna wrap it up here now so if you are a Bergeon student um, then you know head on over to Bergeon inner circle I'll be doing uh, the next part of this Facebook live so I'll be doing um, you know Q&A there as well with some bonus training um, so thank you so much guys so this is incredibly powerful um, process to create the life that you want but just know that when you are planning out your decade you are going to come up with resistance which shows up as either perfection or procrastination Okay, procrastination is deep down, there's like a fear that you're scared to move forward in this big goal, so you procrastinate. And you end up doing what I call useless business. Useless business, yes, it's a term I've come up with, useless business, where you're busy, busy doing, doing, doing things, but that are not really moving you forward. You're keeping yourself very occupied doing lots of different things because you're getting distracted by somebody saying you should do this, and you should do this, and you should do this, and it's not really moving you forwards, and it's just keeping you in, in, in drama and distraction, okay? So that form of procrastination or even perfection is like I'm going to just keep working on my website and you know some of you've been working on your website for a year it's still not live guys like seriously right like you got to get off your ass and get it out there you know progress over perfection progress over just get a website even it's a one page website just get it out there okay um you know I make changes to my website all the time it's still not perfect you know, every couple of days I'm making modifications to my website. I might find a typo. I may change a landing page. There's always something I'm tweaking in, in my website uh, to improve it. 
um, you know, removing pages, adding pages. It's an ongoing, it's an ongoing project. Um, so just get it out there, guys. Get it out there. So progress over perfection. So when I'm talking about releasing resistance, this is the subconscious fears we have. And this is the stuff that we clear using Theta Healing. So Theta Healing is an energy healing modality aimed at changing limiting beliefs into empowering ones. So it operates from the subconscious mind. So consciously, you're wanting to create a healing business. Consciously, you want a soulmate. Consciously, you want to have a baby. But subconscious says, uh, 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 last time you got into a relationship, he cheated on you. Yeah? Okay? Or you had that abortion. You sinned. You can't have another child, right? And so subconsciously, you'll deny yourself your dreams because you've got these subconscious belief systems that are holding you back, right? Those are the things that we clear using this technique. So I invite you to come to the Theta Healing Introductory Workshop. It's called Manifesting Love and Abundance. I'm going to post the link in the chat for you guys. It's on this Saturday, and it'll be myself, um, Vanya Silverton and Scarlett Camises and Lucy Valentis. We've got four speakers. We've got a full lineup. So this is going to go even deeper. The work that we've done the last three Facebook Lives, we're going to go even deeper into creating the life that we want. So we're going to be doing more energy clearings, guys, on that event. Um, we're going to be doing guided meditations. And I'm going to be teaching you how to change your own beliefs instantly. And this is why I love this technique. You don't have to do affirmations. You know, redo like hours of journaling. You can change a limiting belief into empowering one instantly. And this is why I love it. This is why I love it. You can heal old childhood painful wounds in like minutes. You're not having to relive your story in years of therapy. A transformation can happen in an hour, guys. So this will be a, a full one day live workshop. It's going to be on the 11th of January. Uh, in um, Amber Hotel Charing Cross, as I said, all our speakers will be there, where you start to release your uh, abundance blocks and you learn to make your dreams a reality. So uh, click on the link and get your tickets. And uh, I look forward to seeing some of you on um, Saturday. I know some of you have already bought your tickets. So just give me a yes if you're already coming. I'd love to know who's coming. Um, just, yeah, give me a yes if you're, you're coming. That would be, that would be great. I know some people said they've already got their tickets. Um, so, yeah, so the, uh, I posted the link in the chat for you. Uh, so, guys, thank you so much. So, um, yes, I'll be doing um, future Facebook Lives. Um, the plan is to do it more regularly, more regularly. So uh, I will um, choose a regular day that I'll be doing Facebook Lives for more energy clearings. So I want to do an energy clearing on um, weight loss. I know a lot of people thinking about weight loss. I've just gone and invested in um, those big balls for my abs. I need to grow my abs and um, some little weights I've got as well. So people are thinking about weight loss and getting healthy. So I'm going to be doing energy clearing on weight loss. Also about decluttering as well, how to declutter energetically so as we release physical stuff in our environment we also release energetic stuff in our bodies as well so there's lots of exciting topics coming up so uh, stay tuned on the Berjon uh, page for future Facebook lives okay guys so hopefully I'll see you guys this Saturday so uh, click on the link and book your tickets for the manifesting love and abundance workshop it's gonna be so much fun and we'll see you soon guys thank you good night